Hello, good morning, and welcome to all of you. This is Rajesh Kumar Singhal, and I am here to present a new lecture on the heat stress. So, friends, from last some le uh, lectures, we are discussing about the abiotic stresses. So, in this series, we have discussed about the Rot stress. We have discussed about the salinity stress. We have discussed about the chilling stress. In the last lecture, we discussed about the heat soap proteins. So, friend, these proteins are the stress proteins which are work as a molecular chaperon chaperons and increase the membrane stability okay so these are the this is very important protein during the heat stress and in this lecture we will discuss about the different facts about the heat stress so we will discuss about the effect of the heat stress on morphological morphological physiological biochemical and molecular processes so we will discuss about the effect of heat stress on morphological physiological biochemical and molecular processes then we will discuss about the tolerance mechanism that how the physiological how the physiological biochemical and molecular approaches can be used to improve the heat tolerance okay so let's start our discussion with the basics of high temperature stress so friends as the name show that high temperature stress so in this case the higher temperature cause the or affect the affect the plant growth and development means the harmful impact of the high temperature on the plant growth and development is known as high temperature stress so now the definition so rise in temperature beyond a threshold level for a period of time and that is sufficient to cause the irreversible damage damage which cannot be reversed to the growth and development known as high temperature stress so this is very clear means when the temperature reached to a beyond its sort level for a period of time and that is sufficient to cause a irreversible damage to the plant growth and development known as high temperature stress so usually 10 to 15 degree centigrade of ambient is known as high temperature stress means if a plant require 35 degree centigrade for their optimum growth okay then 45 degree more than temperature more than 45 degree centigrade is considered as a high temperature and responsible for the heat stress okay that is very clear when the temperature is beyond 10 to 50 degree centigrade then ambient known as heat stress okay so this high temperature stress is a complex function of intensity okay duration and rate of increase okay so this high temperature 
is a complex function of intensity. Okay, means how much temperature, how much temperature is higher. Okay, दूसरा है second one is the duration. It is for short duration or the long duration. Okay. Third is rate of increase. Okay. Means slowly or the fast. Okay. Or rapid. Okay. So these three are the important component of the high temperature stress that intensity. Duration and the rate of increase. Okay, so these three are the important component. Okay, then fourth point is the greenhouse gases and the global warming. So friends, you know that this is a very uh, important or concern issue for the agriculture or the environment that we are facing the problem of global warming. Okay, so for this global warming, there are certain gases that is known as greenhouse greenhouse gases. Okay, these are known as greenhouse gases such as CO two, methane. Okay, nitric oxides. Okay, so these are the or some chlorofluorocarbon. Okay. So these are the some gases which are known as greenhouse gases. They have a property of trapping sunlight or trapping energy. Okay. So they increase the temperature of the atmosphere. Okay. And also responsible for the global warming. Okay. Then next point is the that IPCC that is known as Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that say that there will be an increase in the zero point three degree in the next decades and one to one degree in two thousand twenty five and three degree centigrade. On mean temperature in 2100, so it is estimated that the temperature is continuously increasing, or Earth is continuously warming, and in the future there will be a more problem of high temperature stress, and the effects will be more serious in the humans, animals, and the plant growth and development. Okay, so this is a very Important topic. Then there will be an alteration of geographical distribution and the growing season. So friends, you know the date when there will be a change in the temperature. Okay. So you know that every crop have some specific tem temperature required for their growth and development. What if there will be a change in Temperature, there will be a change in the growing season. Growing season, also the geographical distribution means temperate uh, climate is changing to the semi-tropical. Semi-tropical is changing to the tropical, and tropical climates are more moving toward the arid, or there will be a destruction of uh, means uh, ecosystems. Okay. So temperature causing the alteration in the geographical distribution and the growing seasons. Okay. Then next point is the what is threshold temperature. So threshold temperature is the value of daily mean temperature. Mean temperature means maximum plus minimum upon two. So this is known as average mean temperature at which a detectable reduction in Growth begins means above this temperature there will be a reduction in the growth. Okay, then threshold temperature. So generally for wheat, 
at post anthesis it is 26 degree and the grand development it is 34 degree above this temperature there will be a decrease in the yield so we can say that above threshold temperature there will be a decrease in the yield so this is about the basics of the high temperature stress okay so this slide is very clear that why this temperature stress is important for the study okay now come to the some morphological changes which occurs due to the high temperature stress okay so this is first one is the scorching of leaves and the twigs sun one of the leaves even we are also facing the sun one जैसे आप बाहर जाते हो तो आपको एक सनवन सा होता है जैसे स्किन जलती है सेम केसेस हैपन इन द प्लांट्स देन लीव सेनेसेंस ओके देन एब्सेंस ऑफ द लीव इनिविशन ऑफ शूट एंड रूट ग्रोथ फ्रूट डिस्कलरेशन एंड डैमेज एंड द रिड्यूस रिडक्शन इन द येल्ड सो दीज आर द सम मॉर्फोलॉजिकल चेंजेस व्हिच आर विजुलाइज्ड ड्यू टू द हाई टेंपरेचर मींस आपका जैसे स्किन सनवन हो जाएगा लीप स्कोचिंग हो जाएगा और जल्दी सेनेसेंस आएगा एब्सेंस हो जाएगा इनिविशन ऑफ रूट एंड शूट ग्रोथ हो जाएगा फ्रूट रिस्टोरेशन हो जाएगा डैमेज हो जाएगा रिड्यूस लिटिल हो जाएगा ओके देन नेक्स्ट डायरेक्ट चेंज इन द एक्सिस्टिंग फिजियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेसेस एक तो क्या करता है कि आपके जो फिजियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस है जैसे आपका वाटर रिलेशन हुआ फोटोसिंथेटिस हुआ मिनरल न्यूट्रिशन हुआ ओके okay? Direct change decrease this process or indirectly altering pattern of development means finally or indirectly it change the pattern of development means अगर आपका जैसे माना कि leaf elongation को इसने change कर दिया leaf elongation को तो आपका बाद में क्या होगा other processes जैसे transpiration, photosynthesis they will also affect means आपका leaf development process भी affect होगा okay तो आपका जो आपका एसिमिलेट पार्सनिंग या बायोमास प्रोडक्शन है दैट इज आल्सो अफेक्टेड देन डिलेड जर्मिनेशन एट इनिशियल स्टेज इट डिलेड द जर्मिनेशन लॉस ऑफ बिगर रिड्यूस्ड इमर्जेंस एंड द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ सीडलिंग्स ओके सो एट इफ देयर विल बी हाई टेंपरेचर स्ट्रेस ड्यूरिंग द अर्ली फेजेस ऑफ प्लांट ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट देन इट डिक्रीज द और डिलेड द जर्मिनेशन loss of the bigger reduce the emergence and the establishment of seedlings okay then high temperature decline the shoot rhyme biomass relative growth rate that is relative growth rates then net assimilation ratio okay relative growth rate how it will change because it's delayed the germination okay delayed kar dega to aapki relative growth hai wo aapki kam ho jayegi then net assimilation rate if there will be decrease in the photosynthetic area photosynthetic area then it affect the photosynthetic rate and the total photosynthesis and the assimilates okay there also several reduction in the first internode length means aapke jaise ye plant hai isme ye jaise ye nodes hai theek hai so it reduce the internode length okay this is the distance between the two nodes okay so this temperature stress reduce the length of the first internode in sugar cane axillates small internodes to jo aapka sugar cane hai that is तो उसमें क्या करेगा इंटरनोट्स रिड्यूस कर देगा इंक्रीज टेलरिंग अर्ली सेनेसेंस एंड रिड्यूस टोटल बायोमास सो फ्रेंड्स दिस आर द सम बायोलॉजिकल और मोर्फोलॉजिकल चेंजेस विच आर अकर्स ड्यू टू द टेंपरेचर स्ट्रेस ओके दैट इज वेरी क्लियर और दैट इज आल्सो वेरी इजी कि जनरल स्ट्रेस कंडीशन में होते हैं बट एवरी स्ट्रेस हैव सम स्पेसिफिक चेंजेस ओके सो दीज आर द मोर्फोलॉजिकल चेंजेस ड्यू टू द टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेस now come to the uh, effect of this high temperature on the yield and quality attributes okay so friends this heat stress 
lengthen the duration of brain filling with reduction in the kernel growth जो आपका कर्नल होता है उसकी ग्रोथ को रेस्ट्रिक्टेड कर देता है और रिड्यूस कर देता है ओके लीडिंग टू लॉस इन द कर्नल डेंसिटी एंड द वेट बाय 7% इन स्प्रिंग वीट मींस आपका जो वीट है उसमें हाई टेंपरेचर से क्या होता है कर्नल डेंसिटी एंड वेट ऑलमोस्ट 7% रिड्यूस हो जाता है एंड दिस टर्मिनल हीट स्ट्रेस सो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट इज टर्मिनल हीट स्ट्रेस so this is a very uh, important and concern in the agriculture that uh, every crop have some growth stages like germination or you can say this is the juvenile phase then there will be a vegetative phase then there will be a reproductive phase okay then there will be a maturity or grain development phase okay so when there will be an increase in the temperature during this reproduction period this is known as term, terminal heat stress and that is responsible for the huge yield benefit okay and mainly occurs in the rabi crops in india okay it also reduce the starch protein and oil content of maize kernel and the grain quality so this heat stress not only affect the yield traits but it also affect the quality traits also friends this uh, uh, high temperature affect the reproductive growth such as pollen germination pollen tube growth ovule viability stigmatic and style position number of pollen grain retained by the stigma fertilization and post fertilization process growth of endo sperm pro embryo and fertilized embryo so friends the temperature stress affect both male and female reproductive organ okay so it affect the both pollen and the ovum okay so pollen germination pollen tube growth ovule viability stigmatic and style position number of pollen grain retained by the stigma means how many uh, pollen reaches to the stigma fertilization post fertilization growth of endosperm pro embryo so of most of all the process related to the uh, reproduction is affected by the high temperature okay so one case that is exerted styles i are visualized in case of tomato where this stigma is elongated beyond the anthrax okay and which may be prevent the self pollination okay so this is a typical character okay then poor food set gametogenesis and fertilization is also affected under high temperature stress so we can say that this high temperature affect the number of yield and quality attributes in the plant okay so now come to the anatomical changes okay so what are the anatomy there so there will be a reduction in cell size closure of stomata and cartel the water loss increase stomatal and trichotometer density and greater xylem and basal of both and root and shoot to kya hota hai when there will be a high temperature stress so in initial condition there will be a increase in transpiration if the water is available so it increase the xylem and basal uh, okay also it uh, impact on the stomata but later case there will be a decrease in the transpiration due to water deficit okay so it close the stomata okay in graves heat stress severely damage the mesophyll cells and increase the permeability of plasma membranes okay so kya karega aapka damage the mesophyll cells if there will be a reduction in mesophyll cells then affect the photosynthesis process okay and increase the permeability of membrane means it decrease the cell membrane stability okay 
देन चेंजिंग द स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ थाइलोकोर्स जो आपके क्लोरोप्लास्ट में थाइलोकोर्स है उनका ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को भी अफेक्ट करेगा लॉस ऑफ ग्रेना स्टेकिंग एंड इट्स स्वेलिंग सो इट इज ऑल्सो अफेक्टेड अंडर हाई टेम्परेचर स्ट्रेस सो इन हाई टेम्परेचर क्लोरोप्लास्ट इन द म्यूजोफिल सेल ऑफ ग्रेप प्लांट बिकम राउंड इन शेप मीन्स इसकी जो ओरिजिनल शेप है दैट इज ऑल्सो चेंज ओके स्ट्रोमल एमली बिकम स्वेलन एंड द कंटेंट ऑफ वैक्यूम्स फॉर्म क्लम्स एंड द क्रिस्ट्री आर डिसरप्टेड एंड माइक्रोकोन्ट्रे बिकम एम्पटी सो दे आर सीवियर चेंजेस इन द माइक्रोकोन्ड्रियल माइक्रोकोन्ड्रियल एंड क्लोरोप्लास्ट स्ट्रक्चर सो अल्टीमेटली इट अफेक्ट द फोटोसिंथेटिस एंड द मेटा बोलिंग ओके दिस इज वेरी क्लियर सो वी कैन से देर विल बी ए नंबर ऑफ चेंजेस इन द एनाटोमिकल ऑफ द सेल ओके देन देर विल बी ए सम फिजियोलॉजिकल चेंजेस ओके सो फर्स्ट चेंजेस इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑन द वाटर रिलेशन ओके सो इन लॉटर्स हाई टेम्परेचर फॉर द रिडक्शन इन द लीफ वाटर पोटेंशियल ठीक है बिकॉज इट इंक्रीज द ट्रांसपेशन ओके क्यों क्योंकि यू नीड ट्रांसपेशन फॉर द कूली ओके इफेक्ट ऑन रूट हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टेंस इन टोमेटो सो इट ऑल्सो अफेक्ट द रूट हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी ओके इंक्रीज द ट्रांसपेशन ओके देन सेकेंड देर विल बी एक्मुलेशन ऑफ कॉम्पेटेवाइल सोल्यूट सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी वन लेक्चर ऑन दिस कॉम्पेटेवाइल सोल्यूट एंड ऑस्मोटिक एडजस्टमेंट दैट दे आर सर्टन कंपाउंड लाइक ग्लाइसिन ग्लाइसिन बिटाइन गावा दैट इज नोन एज गामा अमीनो बिटारिक एसिड्स प्रोलीन ओके so there are some compounds which also accumulate this accumulate during the high temperature stress and reduce the impact of this high temperature stress okay in photosynthesis it already discussed that there are so many anatomical changes which affect the efficiency of the chloroplast so it's reduce the photochemical reactions carbon metabolism degradation there will be a increase of degradation of chlorophyll a and b and this ps second is the thermolevels okay thermolevel means which is sensitive to the high temperature also there will be a limit generation of the reducing power means less production of less production of atp okay reduce stomatal conductance inactivation and denaturation of enzymes so at high temperatures there will be an inactivation of important enzymes related to the photosynthesis and the metabolism okay important leaf photosynthesis is limited by the electron transport and rubp rubisco regeneration capacity so it also affect the electron transport and the regeneration of the rubisco okay also there will be a reduction in the activity of sucrose phosphate synthetase adp glucose pyrophosphorylase and the inverted enzyme so these en enzymes are important in the translocations of the food so they affect the source and the sink activity okay and affect the assimilate assimilate parts okay next point is also like that impact on reduce gain filling okay because there will be a less photosynthesis and also affect this enzymes okay then already discussed that there will be a impact on cell membrane stability so this increase temperature increase the kinetic energy 
and the movement of molecules across membranes. Already discussed that it increases the permeability. Okay. Then losing chemical bonds within molecules of biological membrane. So it breaks the double and triple bond in the lipids. Okay. So increase the permeability and decrease the cell membrane stability. Okay. Increase the fluidity of membrane. So it is totally opposite to the chilling stress. Okay. Which we discuss in the chilling stress that it increase the fluidity of membrane by either denaturation of proteins or increase in the unsaturated fatty acids. Okay. The integrity and function of biological membranes are sensitive to high temperature and the heat stress alter the tertiary and quaternary structure of membrane proteins which increase the permeability and increase loss of electrolytes. So friends already also last class that is on heat of protein we have discussed that this protein are work as a molecular chapter and refolding of the protein. So during any stress or heat stress, these proteins generally which are tertiary or quaternary structure which is also stable are broken or damaged or lost its structure. Okay. So there will be a broken this protein structure okay so it increase the uh, permeability and loss of electrolytes okay in which injuries related to the plasma membrane due to heat shock were much less severe in developing than in mature leaves okay so friends uh, by this point we want to say that if there will be a two types of leaf in the plant that is the new leaves and the mature leaves or old leaves okay so new leaves have some stress tolerance capacity or they accumulate some stress signaling so impact will be less in this proteins compared to the old leaves okay so not protein leaves in adopsis, plant grown under high temperature, total lipid content in membrane decrease to about half and ratio means the lipid content hai, that is also reduced. So it increases the membrane permeability. Okay. Also, there will be a hormonal changes, means it imbalanced, imbalanced the hormonal status okay also hormones stability uh, some plant hormones are thermo levels also hormone content and the biosynthesis pathway and the compartmentalization so these processes are altered also there will be an increase in the abscisic acid so this abscisic acid is also known as stress hormone so you know friends, in every stress, this abscisic acid is increased. Also under heat stress, there will be an accumulation of ethylene. So this ethylene increases the abscisin process and the senescence process. Okay. Then there will be an accumulation of secondary metabolites. So there will be a change in the phenyl propanoids, sikimates, mavalent and MEP pathway that is methyl erythrol phosphate pathway so these pathway also changed okay so it is uh, also alter the secondary metabolites production in the plants also there will be an accumulation of some molecular chapron that is known as heat of proteins like hsp60 hsp70 then HSP 90, then HSP 100, then small HSP, 
already we discussed detail in the last class then oxidative stress we also have one lecture on this that there will be so many reactive oxygen species such as hydroxyl radical hydrogen peroxides okay superoxides so these are increased and they call for the lipid for oxidation for oxidation and damage to the cell membrane okay also accumulation of some stress protein like lia that is known as lead ambrogenic abounded and we also have one separate lecture that how these stress proteins are important in the stress tolerance so friend this is about the heat tolerance that how this heat stress affect the uh, plant physiological biochemical and molecular processes okay now if we will talk about the heat tolerance then there will be a short term avoidance or the acclimatization response and the acquired thermo tolerance so there are some strategy that there will be a change in leaf orientations okay so there will be a heliotropic movement okay so there will be a movement of leaf so it can reduce the incidence of the solar radiation and decrease the solar uh, transmission process okay then transmission cooling means there will be an increase in the transmission process alteration of membrane lipid composition okay then early maturation that is known as escape mechanism okay homeostasis of metabolism means accumulation of different secondary metabolites okay then iron transporters means uh, maintaining of the mineral nutrition osmoprotectants like uh, proline glycine vitamins okay that ros squenching accumulation of sod catalase peroxidase ascorbate peroxidase okay accumulation of antioxidant enzymes to reduce the reactive oxygenases lia protein stress proteins induction of calcium flux like uh, uh, capk okay cdpk okay this is work as a secondary messenger okay means strengthening the signaling mechanism cytoskeletal or reorganization means if there will be a change in the uh, anatomical changes means change in the proteins which can be reorganized upregulation of mapk capk antioxidant competitor solids heat of protein so they provide the acclimatization response and for acquired thermotolerance some plants or genotypes have high hsp abscisic acid ros antioxidant defense salicylic acid pathway that salicylic acid pathway okay and the strong signaling means mepk mepk okay kinase proteins transcription factors okay heat soak factors heat soak elements so there are so many component which involve in the acquired thermo tolerance next genetic improvements so genetic plasticity we can use mutation breeding epigenetic methylation promoting remodeling histone hydrolyzation development of heat tolerance variety okay molecular we can identification of qtls related to the this heat stress also membrane engineering to the reduce the permeability and increase the membrane stability also uh, stress proteins accumulation of heat so proteins lia proteins okay so these approaches can be used for the this heat tolerance so friend this lecture about the uh, heat tolerance that how this high temperature affect the plant growth and development and different processes like physiological biochemical molecular and how we can improve this heat tolerance hope you, uh, you understand this lecture uh, thank you very much for uh, listening this lecture